Massachusetts, a hothouse of invention. From Eli Whitney's cotton gin to the Polaroid camera, Morse code to marshmallow fluff. So where better to seek out today's leading edge of invention? It's a complete no-brainer, MIT. We've done a lot of work on new kinds of implants to treat uh, brain cancer, to treat different kinds of cancer and other diseases. Bob Langer uh, and Dan Anderson run one of the biggest academic research labs in the country. Langer alone has over 750 medical patents, more than anyone in the world. He and Anderson have had amazing success inventing novel medical materials and life-saving therapeutics. Well, certainly it's uh, one of the reasons I really like my job. I mean, you know, you really feel like the work you're doing on a day-to-day -day is not only scientifically interesting, but also can have a real impact on people's lives. Now, their work on stem cells and damaged spinal cords has had to make way for another vexing problem. Bad hair days. The result? No frizz. Based on Anderson and Langer's science, no frizz has taken the beauty world by storm. It's so amazing that the big companies haven't been able to solve these problems in such a short time. We've been able to really tackle problems that have really dramatically affected women for many years. You know, Rob Robillard is CEO you know, of Living Proof, makers of no frizz. This Cambridge startup's secret weapon? Science. Using renowned researchers from outside the beauty industry to apply new thinking to age-old problems. This side of her head was treated with one of those silicone products. Mm. This side was styled with no frizz technology. Okay. We found the holy grail for frizz. It's, it's amazing. Noted stylist Mitch DeRosa is a co-founder of Living Proof. He says until now, the fight against frizz has relied on silicone-based products, which keep moisture out, but can leave hair heavy and greasy. Along come Anderson and Langer and their discovery of polyfluoroester. And this creates a weightless shield sheathed around each hair fiber. For Langer and Anderson, there's nothing trivial about their work for a beauty product. After all, they consider themselves equal opportunity problem solvers. Do your fellow uh, professors give you a tease you sometimes about the frizzies? Or do they have a fun with it? Or they? A lot of them use it. <laughs> 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 Cutting and maintenance, hardly restricted to hair care, as any beleaguered suburban lawn slave will tell you. I've been a landscape designer for about 25 years, and. Uh, have been against lawns for that long. Betsy Levitt considers the Great American Lawn a water-wasting, chemically saturated nightmare. It's awful stuff. So what's up with the green stuff in her front yard? Levitt discovered Pearl's Premium, a new grass seed mixture that requires no water, no fertilizer, and very little cutting. I know I had no idea that it would be so lush. It has a wonderful sort of emerald green as opposed to this yellowy green of most lawns. I wish that, um, that somebody else would come up with a way to not have to cut the lawn on weekends. And uh, no one else was doing it, so uh, <laughs> after six long years, uh, came up with a solution. Jackson Madnick is a late blooming grass guru. His Pearl's premium grass seed features deeper roots, slower growth, and resistance to drought. What I have here is a test laboratory where I'm testing the outer fringe of, uh, of what the grass can do. A born tinkerer, Madnick's entire home in Wayland serves as a laboratory for exploring sustainable technologies. So it sounds like you're always inventing new things, always looking at the world in a little bit different way. I have been in since I was a little kid. I mean, it was sort of a losing battle. You fertilize to make it grow and then you <laughs> cut it to make it look good. David Comins had come to see the absurdity in his high maintenance lawn. When a new septic system turned his western yard into a war zone, it opened up new possibilities. This year, he and his wife Phyllis decided to try Pearl's Premium. Less water, less cutting, more happiness. Yeah, I like it. It is somewhat revolutionary. But, and it's not gonna replace all the grass, because again, some people like the, the look of bluegrass, and some people actually like to cut their lawns in, on, on a weekly basis. 
But it, you know, for, for a lot of us who, who would rather only cut our lawns once a month, uh, Pearl's Premium is the solution.